What's good to you too? It's your boy Black Kachi out three little face skinny pop. E and we back so black with some more fire boys and anime manga content for you in the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the like button, share the video with your friends. We got Boruto chapter 67 spoilers, so let's get to it. Okay, so again, Dinosaur started to read the uh, full summary spoilers late last night, early this morning, however you want to look at it, depending what time zone you're in. And we've been getting small hints ever since, as far as yesterday, um, I think like afternoon or really just trickling throughout the whole day. And we got everything just flooded out last night. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy now. I predicted this shit. I was like, yo, we need some some depth, you know what I'm saying? Talk about the prophecy. Let's see some moments. I'm getting straight to it, bro. I'm gonna gloss over the things that we have, but like the shit that really gets that I wanna talk is the shit that I guess, bro. And I called it. I called it, nigga. I called it, bro. Everybody already knew it. This nigga Kawaki is dog and cold, bro. Cold comes out, says it this chapter himself, like, bro, if he don't hurry up and escape, he's gonna fuck around and die. Ada's watching everything. She's getting frustrated within her thoughts. She's making it clear to Cole. Everybody is crazy how all of this is just coming to fruition. But she's like, Cole, you do understand that with this nigga Boruto dead, there's no living sacrifice for you. Let me make that clear. No living sacrifice, including Kawaki. She was like, that nigga, though, don't think twice. Because <laughs> then we're going to have a problem. And now this is where you see the lines start to being very more clearly drawn in front of the uh, readers and the viewers. Because that's when Cole says like, yo, let's not talk about that right now. Wait till I get back, get out of this messy situation. And then we're going to figure it all out, right? So essentially what Cole is doing when he's getting dogged by Kawaki. Kawaki's really like manhandling this dude. Naruto is in complete distress. And Shikamaru was like, yo, Naruto, let's go help Kawaki. And get this shit like together, right? And then eventually this nigga Shikamaru was just like, bro. This nigga Boruto was like, Kawaki, kill me. There's nothing we can do about that. You know what I'm saying? He starts yelling and blacking at Naruto. Naruto doesn't even look at Shikamaru. He doesn't take his eyes off Boruto the entire chapter. The only thing he keeps saying is, Boruto, Shikamaru, what happened? Shikamaru, is this real? Boruto, 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 Shikamaru, what are you talking about? And then he even drops the ball and like, I don't know. I hope people aren't too surprised about this because it's Naruto. He's like, what are you talking about? We got to figure out what to deal with Kawaki, nigga. That's Boruto's brother. If he needs anybody, he definitely going to need. And I ain't going to lie, that's some real shit. He's really like, bro, at the end of the day, Naruto is that much more mature to the point where regardless of the situation, and he's still giving the proper reaction. Like he hasn't moved. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't even looked at Shikamaru the entire chapter. He's All of this is going on while he's just looking at Boruto. He's just like, bro. He's Boruto's brother. And if a situation like this is like, if anybody needs to be by his side, it's gonna have to be his family. So at the end of the day, Naruto's like, I understand I'm hurting, but like, this is all I got. And then then Shikamaru starts switching up. Like, nigga, did he just killed your son? Like, make up your mind, bro. Like, make, what the fuck is going on? All of that shit is happening, right? So Cold is getting dog, and then he brings up a big brain idea and he drags Damon right from Ada's arms. And Kawaki's going for a big blast attack. Everything's reflected back to Kawaki. And this is beautiful because this nigga Shikamaru witnesses everything. He's looking at Damon like, what the fuck is good with that little nigga, bro? And then Cold is like, all right, Damon, you good. I just needed your help a little bit. And then Damon's screaming out loud, bro, who the fuck is the enemies? I'm finna really pack these niggas up and send them smoking. You feel me? Like, send them to my nigga Kurama. And Shikamaru is baffled, bro. Like, completely lost for it. He's like, yo, what's good with this little nigga, bro? What's really good with this little nigga? So he sent Damon ass back. Ada's even more heated now. All right, she's like, look, let's just get the fuck over here, bro. Check Kawaki uh, and bring him, bring his ass back. So after checking Kawaki's post, just gets interesting. You know what I'm saying? Fuck everything I just talked about, right? We push over to Momoshiki. We push over to Naruto. We push over to Boruto. Boruto, everybody thought this nigga Boruto was dead. Boruto, they're in this freaking world. Like I said, nigga, they in that world, wherever the fuck it is. Boruto and Momoshiki be talking about, right? And they show like a little mini flashback, basically, just to put it all together. Momoshiki comes and explains to Boruto how he revived him and how he had no choice but to revive him in order to keep his soul into this world. Now, this is the catch. I did say Boruto need to be taken out the story for a little bit, but the way they brought this nigga back this chapter, was so intertwining and so very interesting it's like so what are they gonna do about it so essentially this is boruto's body was brought back to life momoshiki granted him an entire different pattern of the karma 
where Kawaki thrust it, they explained he took away part of his heart and part of his lungs. Boruto was dying. He was going to die. He essentially was dead. What Moshiki did was take the remaining percentage of Boruto's body that hasn't been turned, that was waiting to be turned into Momoshiki. He converted data that Momoshiki already had into that, basically transferring organs and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, him and Boruto are sharing a body for good. <laughs> You feel me? Like, Momoshiki can't resurrect anymore, but he cannot die, essentially. So it's kind of like a forced hand situation. And I love it, because it's not like, ah, best friends, ah, buddy, buddy. So Momoshiki then goes even deeper into stuff that I was like, all right, nigga. And I say, like, let's not keep those waiting, right? So then he's like, bro, you're basically 100% Otsutsuki. It's just that you're 18% Boruto, you know what I'm saying? 82% Momoshiki. Now, in a sense, even if he's only 18% Boruto, he can still, you know what I'm saying, obviously operate. He's sitting up. He's looking at, he questions Naruto as soon as his eyes open. He's like, nigga, I ain't dead, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He starts to sit up trying to catch his breath and shit. Everybody's baffled. So now it's like Boruto got this big black gaping, I don't know, karma pattern on his chest. Probably going to be there for good. And it's just like, that's just it. And Momoshiki's like, bro, the next time you die, you're dead. But at the end of the day. You're 100% pure Otsutsuki, 100% pure Otsutsuki. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all think like, damn, that's it, ah, that's lit, that's not even all. This nigga Momo Shiki and Boruto talks about the prophecy. They talk about the prophecy, they talk about the prophecy, right? So Boruto asks and Momo Shiki like, bro, I've died. You saved me. We're stuck in this situation. You told me my blue eyes will take everything away from me. Is this what you mean? This nigga Momo Shiki laughed, bro. He was like, <laughs> Even I couldn't see this situation coming, my nigga, but this is not the situation I was talking about. So we got the gas still coming, bro. We still got gas coming. We still got gas coming. Mumu she's like, bro, this is really not it. The fact is, you're just an interesting little nigga, bro. Like, I have to see what the fuck is going down with you, whether it's me becoming you or I'm just staying alive forever and I'm keeping my eye on you, my guy. And I like, I hope they don't, I really hope. It stays exactly how it is, and I even hope, like, Momoshiki still tries to, like, all right, let me see if I can take over. But this is beautiful, bro. Boruto is 100% Otsutsuki. 18% of him is himself, you feel me, which is Otsutsuki. So, like, it's still him. Momoshiki used the remaining decompression of the karma so just to replace Boruto's organs and just save his life. So he used that power. Essentially, that power was going to be used to completely turn Momoshiki into Boruto and complete the resurrection. Now the resurrection can't be completed, but Momoshiki saw this as being better than just completely dying and just uh, being erased from the world. And honestly... Based off the Otsutsuki, the way to operate, that does make sense. Niggas like, fuck it, I ain't trying to die. At least I'm going to be here, nigga. At least I can say hi. You feel me? But, bro, Boruto chapter 67, God, crazy. I'm not even trying to do Give y'all my thoughts on the actual chapter when I read the actual chat. This is just a spoiler. Hey, shout out to the Go Organic Dinosaur. So we got images. Y'all see the images? Uh, shout out to Edbill Zodek. Like, ah, we out here. Chapter 67, bro, it's going to be coming out next couple of days, bro. Leave me your thoughts below. What are your anticipations for the chapter? How do y'all feel about these spoilers, honestly? How do y'all feel about Boruto's resurrection and being 100% Otsutsuki? Suki, Kawaki versus Code, information on all of this stuff, the prophecy, like, come on, G, come on, G, boy, is your boy Black and Chia out there, you want face with body until my niggas gonna holler at your boy, I'm a Black and Chia out, yes sir. Hey, can we take a trip to the sky, show them that our limits too high, fuck up all the hips on the west side, she said,